Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing this beautiful elbow hang twist from the top bar. This is a really interesting and pretty version of the elbow hang and you can turn it into a little split moment if you want. I'm going to show you how to get into it and some nice positions you can use to transition out of it. But first, as usual, I'm going to advertise my channel. Yay! But seriously, please do take a minute to subscribe to my channel. It makes a big, big difference. It really helps me bring you new tutorials. And I've got lots and lots of other aerial videos on there. So please do take a minute to check it out and subscribe. Okay, pro tips. My first pro tip today is to really get the hoop into your hip crease. So you're going to have a moment where one leg is hooked on the span set, the other leg is wrapping around the outside of the hoop and helping hold you onto the hoop while you put your elbow on. Having the hoop in your hip crease, that's right where your leg meets your hip, is really, 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 really going to help you in this moment. My second pro tip, as it always is with elbow hangs, is to have the hoop in your elbow pit. This is one of those moves where the hoop needs to be in exactly the right place because if it is slightly too far onto your forearm, it's going to be impossible to hold. So really, really make sure your elbow is hooked on with the hoop in your elbow pit. And my third pro tip is to really pull down on that back leg. As you're going into the move, you're going to grab your leg behind your head and just pull down as hard as you can. That's going to help you balance. The pull from your arm is gonna really balance out your weight and help you stay in the position. And those were your pro tips, so now let's break it down. Start sitting in the hoop. I'm going to lean back and use my favorite way to get up to having the top bar on the front of my thighs, which is to hook my feet on the span set and come up sliding my legs up and then kicking them down into that pike position on the top bar. I have a more in-depth tutorial about this on my channel already and I'll link it here at the top of your screen and also in the description of this video. Once you have slid up there, you're going to hook one leg around the front of the span set. This is going to be your back leg in the split if you do a split or your free leg if you're doing a straddle split. So choose whichever leg you do not want to have to pull with your arm. In other words, try to hook your less flexible leg onto the span set at this point. From there, I'm going to take my other leg, my free leg, and hook it around the outside of the hoop, really bringing that hoop into my hip crease and pointing that free leg back towards my body. I'm going to reach up and hook my opposite elbow to the leg that is on the span set. I've got my left leg on the span set, therefore I'm hooking my right elbow onto the top of the hoop as close to that leg as possible. Don't leave any space between your knee and your elbow. Once my elbow is securely hooked on, I can reach through the center of the hoop and grab my free leg. This is the part where I really pull down with my hand to balance myself out. I should have a point of contact with the hoop on my elbow, of course, but also on my hip crease still. And I am ready to unhook that top leg and bring it towards my face. I'm coming into a nice V twist position. And if you're feeling ambitious, you can even open that leg up into a little sort of demi straddle split. When you're ready, you're going to reach back up with that free leg, rehook it around the span set. You might have to wiggle a little bit to get it right into your knee pit. Let go of your foot with your opposite hand pull on the top of the hoop as you unhook your elbow and re-grab so that you have one hand on each side of the span set. You're probably going to naturally have one palm facing forward and one palm facing back and that is fine. From there I bring my free leg around to the back into this little stag position. This is really pretty. I really like this position because it's a little bit twisty and unusual. Next I'm going to slide my leg that is on the span set down onto the ankle. I should have most of my weight in my hands already at this point, so it should be easy to slide around till my ankle is on the span set. I bring my back leg through the center of the hoop, pull up with my hips and rehook that free leg onto the top bar. I let go with the ankle that was on the span set, bring it through as well and rehook onto the top bar so that I am in my knee hang hocks position. And that's it, that's the whole sequence. Here is everything one more time so that you can see how it works. This is a little bit confusing because there's a lot of twisty, unusual shapes in here, but once you've done it a few times, it's going to really feel much more natural. 
Also, make sure you're doing this over a mat, again, just because this is a twisty and unusual position. We always want that little extra safety. And with that, I am going to just remind you one more time to please subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me out as well as when you like my videos. So if you like this video, please hit like. And if you like my other videos, do the same thing for them. It makes a big difference with how YouTube shares my videos and shows my videos to new people. So please, please do take a minute to do that. And with that, I will see you guys next time.